When I make a video about a particular investment, I always try to put myself in a situation where, like, I always think about the listener. Why should the listener care? So that's why I always try to be like, you know, what's the problem? Uh, how is particular company addressing that problem? And then, of course, what does it mean for you as an investor? I don't just talk about, oh, this company does this, this, and that. Uh, they have a beautiful office. They have this product. And look how nice it is. It's like, so what? So what? Right? I want to know. Get to the point. What's the problem? What's the solution? How much can I possibly make on it? Like, right? And so, so when I look at videos from other people talking about companies or stocks, I'm just always disappointed. Most of the time, I'm disappointed because they just ramble, ramble about things that don't mean anything. Uh, and so uh, today, uh, Jake Tran, who has close to 2 million subscribers, released a second video on Aduro. And as I'm making this video right now, it has 43,000 views. Probably by tomorrow, it's, it's going to have over 100,000 views. But I'm impressed. I am impressed by this video. And the link to this video is in the description below. I'm impressed by it because... Like, I'm barely impressed. Rarely, rarely I am impressed by somebody making a video. But I strongly suggest watch it because it's like first class. Like, he talks about the problem. Like, you know, makes you emotional about the problem. And then later, you know, talks about how Aduro is solving the problem or it's addressing the problem. Uh, I strongly recommend you listen to it. Let, let's let's have a listen to just a few things. I don't want to show you too much. I don't want to spoil it, but let me show you what I mean. All often toxic particles that are the result of degrading plastic or consumer products. This is what I found in a cheap can of tuna when I looked at it under the microscope. I found what appeared to be microplastic. The question is, what would this potentially do to my health? Do they contain cancer-causing agents? Or maybe they cause inflammation. National chains like McDonald's, Domino's, and Chipotle all have something in common, according to new research. Potentially dangerous chemicals found in the food. Dr. Lariah Edwards is the lead researcher of the study that analyzed fast food, finding phthalates and other plasticizers leaching into the food we eat. The chemicals are used to make plastic soft for food packaging, processing equipment, and handling gloves. Many studies have demonstrated how microplastics make their way into our our bodies through food and water. However, researchers say microplastics are even tiny enough to enter the bronchioles and get trapped in different parts of the airway branches. Some numbers. I mean, amazing, isn't it? Like talking about microplastics, how they get into uh, our bodies through food, blah, blah, blah. That is a problem. That is something that is worrisome, right? Like, and then later on in the video, he talks about how Aduro is solving the problem. So here, here it is. We desperately need a better way to recycle, one that can tolerate more contamination, that requires less sorting and washing, and that is way cheaper. And one company working on the solution is called Aduro Clean Technologies, and what they're doing is super unique. Instead of focusing on the tiny amount of plastics that are recyclable today, Aduro is targeting the harder to recycle plastics. And they're doing this with a brand new patented chemical-based approach. This new chemical-based approach can be used on way more different types of plastics while being able to put up with more contamination. On top of that, their tech operates at lower temperatures, which means lower operating costs, while also increasing how much plastic they can recycle. All of this means that recycling can be way more profitable while reducing microplastics. The way it works is that you get plastic waste, you crush it into simple granules with minimum sorting and washing, and then those granules are fed into a reactor system that breaks down the plastic's strong molecular chains into hydrocarbon molecules. And boom, just like that, you turn otherwise useless toxic plastic waste into high value oil that can be used as raw material for new plastics to make new products, or you can even turn it into higher value fuel. Think of. I mean, that's all I can say about this. And, and you, you obviously haven't seen the whole thing. That's why I suggest you to look at it. But like, I am super impressed how he introduced the problem, which, which is emotional to us, and then how he was able to tie it into how Aduro is addressing the problem, uh, you know, giving giving exposure to Aduro's solution, you know? And then just look at this, look at this uh, thumbnail. Uh, this thumbnail alone should, should make you want to watch it. Um, 
anyway, um, seriously, watch this video. The link is in the description below. Um, you know, I'm very impressed with it. Um, and, uh, and that's all I have for you today.